We're big fans of video games around these parts. Uh, so I would like to talk about a, a couple of video game things with you here for a second. Uh, one of the video game series in the Star Wars world that is still incredibly popular to this day, we see re-releases all the time, is the uh, the Jedi Knight series. Is there any love for Kyle Katarn around, uh, around the production offices? Can we ever expect to see him? That's not the first I heard that name today. That's what's funny. I heard it last night, too. It was in conversation. Um, I mean, it's a great character. Again, like, when we look at any characters that have existed in other material, no matter what the material is, we have to be very careful about what we decide. If we say, oh, we're going to use that character. And then we have to make sure that if we do, it's what the character is and how they behave and what they're like. You know, that's someone else's creation within Star Wars. Uh, and that character, like many, have a lot of fans. Uh, sometimes we would do that on Clone Wars, and as we develop the story, we go, oh, but that doesn't seem like that character. And so we changed, uh, kind of everybody knows Dirge was going to be in Clone Wars at one point, but we couldn't really hold to that, so then George created Cad Bane. And we got another great character out of that. So sometimes, you know, you want to, you head down a path and you end up creating something that, that you can control and say it's this story and you don't have to step on other things. But it, anything's possible at this point. I mean, John and I love all, all that stuff and all these different characters and it's fun if there is something that makes sense and say, well, there is a, a character like that, an Imperial that does that. Let's just use that character. But we're always cautious with it. A lot of consideration has to go into it. Uh, but yeah, he, he was fun. That was Those were great games. There was a, a lot of fun. Some of them, especially, I used to play a lot, as much of as much time anymore to play them, but I used to do a bunch of them, although, boy, I killed a lot of battle droids when, when it was in the prequel era. Jedi power battles. Remember that one? I had to solve that one with every single version of every character. Yeah. There were so many yep. different colored lightsabers. They all had special moves. That was a fun game. Got to the end with Darth Maul. It was a little tricky. Yeah. I also liked uh, uh, Xbox Obi-Wan. Yes. That was a yes. really good game. Yep. But that game's getting a lot of play right now. People oh, are trying to yeah. find it, dust off, we are uh, dust off the, the disc and put that put that out there. That Absolutely. was a fun game too. So yeah, a lot of good ones. Uh, our latest, uh, very good, Matt McDevitz, who worked with me on Clone Wars, is, uh, he was writing uh, Fallen Order. He was a part of that. So yeah, it's a, it's a great time to be a Star Wars fan. A lot of stuff, a lot of great games, shows, you know, everything. It's pretty amazing.